Okay, first let's head over to 7zip.org. We're gonna need to download 7zip to extract the emulator. The link to this page will be in the description below. At the top of the page, you'll find the download button for the 64-bit and the 32-bit. Now let's head over to vim.net to download the emulator. The link to this page will also be in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on emulation layer. Scroll down to Super Nintendo, look for BSNES. Click on the Windows logo and your download should start. Once it's finished, let's go up to the top right, click on the three little dots, select download, show in folder. We can exit out of the browser and let's drag that file to the desktop. Exit out. Now let's extract that file. All you wanna do is right click on it, go to 7-zip, extract here. We no longer need the zip folder, so let's right click on the zip folder and delete. Now let's open that folder. This will be the emulator. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's go up to settings, size. Now we can change the size of this window screen up to four times. And if you wanna go full screen, just go ahead and click on the box in the top right and it will maximize the screen. Output, you wanna leave that on scale. Filter, I'm gonna leave it at none. And shader, now I have a whole video in the description below that you guys can check out of what each one of these shaders will make the game look like. And some of these shaders really make the game look great. So make sure to check that video out in the description below. Now let's go down to enhancements. Under overclocking, we're gonna turn the CPU up to 200%, the super accelerator up to 200%, and super FX up to 200%. Under HD mode seven, you guys can select whatever you like. I'm gonna change it to 1920p. Now, you can select super sampling if you would like, but I will let you guys know that if you do, it may slow down some of your games, but it also makes your games look good. So in that case, I'm just gonna leave it unchecked, but that's totally up to you guys. Now let's go down to drivers. Now by default, my driver is set on OpenGL, but also Direct3D works pretty good as well. And if you guys are using a G-Sync or a FreeSync monitor, you can turn on Adaptive Sync. Now let's go up to input. And here is where you can map out your controller. Now any wired controller will work with this emulator and most Bluetooth controllers will also work. Right now I'm using an Xbox One controller and everything is working. So where it says port, if you have a second controller, you can map out your second controller by going to controller port two. If you wanna use your mouse and keyboard next to device, you can change this to mouse, but we're gonna stay on gamepad. Now, to map your controls out, all you wanna do is come down and click on whatever button you're ready to emulate. So let's do up, click on it, and just hit the up button on your controller. Down, click on it, hit the down button on your controller. Left, same thing, right, same thing and so on. So go ahead and do B, A, Y, X, L, R, select and start. Now let's load up a game. And there's two ways to do this. The first way is to go up to system, load game, go over to the little home icon and locate wherever you have your Super Nintendo game stored on your computer. The second way, which is the easiest way, I have a game right here on my desktop, is basically to just drag that ROM right into the emulator and the game will start up. <laughs> 